right? So we want to see the concept of the trigonometric ratios of uh, spatial angles. Okay, so these are just uh, angles that uh, we can easily, you know, formulate uh, their trig ratios. They include angle, uh, of course, starts with 0, 15, 30. These are spatial angles. Now, basically, in this video, we are going to begin with the spatial angles of uh, 0, 30, sorry, the trig ratios of uh, 0, 30, 45. Okay, so why are we doing that? These are the basic uh, spatial angles. After this, then every other special angle is gotten from the sum or the difference of these uh, six basic or five basic angles apart from zero. For instance, if I want to get 15, all I need to do is to take uh, 45 minus 30. In our subsequent videos, we're going to see the three ratios of uh, sum and difference of the uh, special angles. Okay. Now, to derive the trig ratios of uh, these special angles, we're going to do it in two, in two forms. We'll have the first part, which is the derivation of uh, angle 30, angle 60, and angle 90. And we do that using an equilateral triangle of side 2. So you can see that the side here is 2. And the side here is also two. And then this other one is two, split it into, you know, into two where we have one and one here. Well, of course, you know, since this is an equilateral triangle, then the angles are 60 degrees because the total angle in a triangle is 180. So if you divide it by three, you will get 60. So each of the angles here will be 60. So, but for the top one here, of course, the line bisects it, and so you have 30 here and 30 here also. Okay, so now we are going to make use of this to form our um, trig ratios. So we begin with the first one for angle 30. Of course, you recall, you recall your Sokatua. So our Sokatua, which says that the sign is equal to opposite of a hypotenuse. Uh, cosine and so on. So for sine 30 is going to be the opposite of 30. So if we use the triangle ADC, you can use ADC or even ABC, sorry, ABD. So if we use ADC, that's this triangle, the half of the triangle to the right. So the, ang the side facing angle 30 that we have here is 1. Okay, so and so that means the opposite is 1 all over the hypotenuse, which is 2. So and that's how we got the sine of 30 to be equal to uh, half. So what about the cos of 30? The cos of 30 is simply adjacent all over hypotenuse. The adjacent of 30 is this side here, which we do not know. So how do we get that particular side? We are going to make use of the uh, the Pythagoras rule, which says that uh, the sum of the two sides, that is the opposite and the adjacent, is equal to the square of the hypotenuse. And of course, this is x squared equal to the square of uh, 2 is 4 minus 1. That is this one coming over. And so our x alone will be the square root of 4 minus uh, one which is three okay so the x here that's the middle line here is uh, uh, root three i can actually write that here so this is root three all right so that means our hypotenuse is root three all over the uh, sorry our adjacent to angle 30 is root three all over the hypotenuse which is two and that's how we got this value for our cos 30 and then what about the last one, which is the tan of 30? So tan 30 is equal to opposite of 30, which is 1, all over the hypotenuse, which is root 3. Of course, if you change all of these to decimals, this is going to give you 0 0.5. This is approximately 0 0.8660. And then this one is approximately 0 0.5771 or 774 if I remember. 
maybe i should just stop at three decimal places okay so <clears throat> these are the three uh, ratios for angle 30 okay so what about the next one angle uh, let's go to angle 60 okay so for angle 60 degrees recall what we did under complementary angles sine 60 will be equal to cos 30 that's 90 minus 60 and cos 30 here is this and of course if you check it from the triangle you will still get the same thing so of course this is a uh, sine 60 the opposite of 60 is root 3 and then when you divide by the hypotenuse you will still get this root 3 over 2 and what about our cosine so the cos of 60 will be equal to the sine of 30 which is actually half if you check it from the triangle you will get the same and then finally the tan of 60 will be equal to the opposite of 60 there is root 3 and the uh, adjacent is 1 so you are going to have root 3 over 1 which is root 3 all right so that's for angle 60 for angle 90 we are beginning with tangent in this case Remember that your tangent is opposite all over, opposite all over adjacent. So, and for angle 90, look at our 90 degrees here. The opposite is 2 all over the adjacent. Now, I'm going to show you that 90 is actually 0. I'm going to show you how it, sorry, is infinity. That's unknown, undefined. And how is this so? The opposite is 2. That's the opposite of this angle 90. Now, what is going to be the adjacent? Remember that this is how it is. So, this is the angle 90 and this is our opposite 2. So, which of these two sides is going to be the hypotenuse? Sorry, it's going to be the adjacent. So, it's undefined. We do not know. So, because it's undefined, we can actually call it 0 if we want. We don't know. So, and 2 divided by 0, of course, is also undefined. That's why you usually have that term 90 is the uh, undefined infinity and then what about the sign the sign of 90 is also the same the opposite of 90 is 2 and the hypotenuse is also 2 okay so now watch what i did here the opposite is the same as the hypotenuse remember your hypotenuse is always constant that's the longest side facing the angle 90 and in this case it happens that it is also the opposite of the angle you are referring to so that's how we have two over two and that's why if you use your calculator the sine of 90 will usually give you one and then what about the cosine of 90 so the opposite to 90 sorry cosine is adjacent over hypotenuse the adjacent is not known the opposite is two and it's also the hypotenuse so we do not know which of the to uh, size is the adjacent so you can actually call that zero and then put it all over the opposite and that's sorry all over the hypotenuse which is two and that's how you usually get that cos 90 is equal to zero so um and then uh, for angle zero uh tan zero is uh, undefined okay so um, this just takes the opposite of uh, this other one. Only tan remains the same. It's undefined. But the rest, sorry, the tan of zero is actually zero. So the tan of zero is zero. The cosine of zero is one. And the sine of uh, zero is also zero. So that's what we do using the right this particular equilateral triangle. And the question I asked is uh, earlier today on our community is now we have always known how to do this using the uh, equilateral triangle with side two. The question is, must it always be two? Can't you use any other number? Remember, an equilateral triangle is a triangle with equal sides. So can't we use any other number as size uh, two? So is it possible? And the answer is yes. Any number at all you use, you always get the same answer. And I'm going to just use one and I'll allow you to try it yourself. So let's try to use 10. Okay. So let's assume that this is 10. 
So if here is 10, the implication is I'll have 10 here, I'll have 10 here. And if I divide this by 2, I'll have 5, 5 here. So let's try for sine 30 and maybe cos 30 and see if we'll get the same thing we got here. So for sine 30, our opposite of 30 will be 5, while the hypotenuse is going to be 10. And if you divide 5 by 10, of course, you will get half. So have you seen? He gave us exactly what you got, even when you used 2 there. So let's check for cos 30. We do for cos 30, our adjacent will still be, uh, sorry, remember that uh, your value has changed. So the number or the value of x here will no longer be root 3. So let's check what is going to be. By Pythagoras rule, your the square of 10 is equal to x squared plus the square of 5. And the square of 10 is 100, x squared plus 25. So that means that x squared is equal to 100 minus 25, which is 75. So x alone will be the square root of 75, which is the same thing as the, if you simplify that sort, you will get 5 root 3. Okay, so what that means now is that my cos 30, of course, here will now be 5 root 3. So my cos 30 will now be the adjacent, which is 5 root 3, all over the hypotenuse, which is 10. Okay, so, and if you reduce this to further uh, term, this will, will cancel this to give you 2. And so you will finally still get root 3 all over 2. So it's actually the same thing as what we have here. So now that's to show us that any value you use as the side of the equilateral triangle, so far as it is the same for the three sides, you will always get the same values for the trig ratios. It's actually a constant, it's a law, it's a rule. It works with any number at all. In fact, even if we use alphabet, if I choose to use X, as the values on these three sides, you are still going to get the same thing. All right, so let's go straight down to for angle 45. So for angle 45, we make use of an isosceles triangle with the two sides that are equal having a, a value of 1. So now the reason why we use 2 here is that it is the least value that will not take us into all this simplification that we did here. So and the same thing is happening here. We are using 1. So you can use 2, you can use 10, you can use 100, you will always get the same answer. Right. So how what's going to be the value of this hypotenuse is going to be the root of 2. Remember that that hypotenuse squared will be 1 squared plus 1 squared. And so that is going to give you the square root of 2. Okay. So, and because this is a, an isosceles triangle, Remember, one of the properties of isosceles triangle is that the base angles are equal. And since this is angle 90, so the remaining angles for these two will be 90. If you divide it by 2, you will get 45 and 45. So, and that's why we are using isosceles, so that we'll be able to get angle 45. We use equilateral here so as to be able to get 60. And we know that when we bisect here, we'll get 30 and 90 here. Right, so for the sine of 45 uh, is very simple, is equal to the opposite. You can use any of the uh, 45 degrees. If you use this, you are still going to get opposite is 1 all over the hypotenuse, which is root 2. And then for the uh, cosine, is actually going to be the same. We saw that under the complementary angles because 90 minus 45 is also 45 which is still 1, all over the hypotenuse, which is 2, for the tan of 45, which is actually equal to 1. How did we get that? Opposite is 1, adjacent is 1. 1 over 1 will give you 1. And that is uh, the complete trig ratios for these six basic um, uh, special angles. That is the uh, angle 0, angle 30, 60, 90, and 45. Okay, five of them, not six. And here is a summary to what we just discussed. This is where we end it for this video.
kindly subscribe to our youtube channel and do like and share our videos we'll see you in our next video bye